Yes, yes. Welcome back, everybody. You're still tuned in to the Lower Down, but more importantly, we just saw a fire performance by Tommy Spaulding and friends. One yes. more time. Yes. yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank Change going to come. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Now, before we get started, thank you guys for being here. Everybody's no here today. Man. Thank, thank you, you for having us. It's nah, a pleasure I'm, and an honor to be here. So no. The pleasure's thank all you. mine, man. I love what you guys just did, but let's get to know everybody. Of course, you're Tommy Spaulding. Yeah, Tommy Spaulding, one and only. We got... I'm Holy Key. Okay. Georgia boy. Georgia boy. All right. I wonder where you from. All right. <laughs> <laughs> when the only LEP. LEP. All right. I like, I like it, man. I got to talk about where did you guys find the inspiration to write a song like that? And I got to mention the fact because this song's been on BT. It's been a lot of places. Breakfast Club, man. Congratulations. First thank off. You, thank, success. You so much. Yes. thank you so much. But a song like that's not normally what's pushed to the forefront when it comes to black music. So first off, I want to learn where did you guys... How did you guys get inspired to write a song like this? It's so important. Well, you know, it, what, it, what it started was like, we from the streets. Okay. We used to be out there thugging hard too. Okay. And then it came to a point where we said we have to change our life around, you know, because we believe in God now. You know okay, I mean? you found Jesus. All right. Found Jesus, but we still ain't perfect. I know I'm not perfect. No, no, no. You know what I mean? I'm more like a realist, you know what I mean? But same token, we love God. We believe in God. So we, we, we used to do gangsta music, you know what I mean? But... That song, go back on that song, we made it because every time you turn the radio, you hear songs telling people to kill each other, telling you to kill, it's cool to kill, it's cool to sell drugs, it's cool I slept with your wife, and stuff like that. So it's like we have, everybody afraid to be leaders now. Everybody, you know, give them a check, okay. and the little monkey gonna do what, you know, what we tell them to do. And we gonna, we not doing that. We okay. not selling out. We here, because number one, we believe in God, but we also black. Okay. You know what I mean? And there's black people down here that are struggling and getting crucified. Yes. You know what I mean? So I feel like music is more than music. Music is the weapon. It could be weapon or it could be like love. But what I hear on the radio is a lot of weapons. It's, it's, it's giving them the power, the influence to, to go do something wrong. So we want to, we, we're, we're, I like to say we're not rappers. We're world changers that happen to rap. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. So we want to change the game. We want to change the world. We want to help the youth. Basically, kind of be like their fathers through the radio. Okay. You know, tell them to do the right thing. You don't got to sell drugs. Go on your own business. No. Get up that corner. So use that same mentality to go positive on your own business. There you go. You know, don't kill each other. Stop putting our sisters down. You know, we all they got. That's a pro. You know, so bro. that's what it is. <laughs> yes. You know, that's what it is, you know. I love the fact you guys are doing that, man. I grew up on hip hop, I love it, but there is a lot of negativity in it. And the fact that you guys are like, you know what, as young men, we can actually put something out there that's positive, give people a choice yes. about what they want to hear, man. Yes. Because I believe that you guys also believe that music can influence. Oh, big time. Good or bad, mm -hmm. it definitely can influence. Like, what was your inspiration like for you starting out, man? What inspires you guys to do what you do? Uh, well, for me, um, well, you know, like you said, we did street rap, you know, uh, back in the days and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but but a uh, change had came, you know, when a, when a book of the word came in my life. You know, my pops passed when I was five years old, so so my father figure was gone. Yeah. Um, but you know, right right when I hit eighteen, I ended up picking up uh, the Bible, so something like the Bible, but 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 it was like the cookie crumbs to, before the actual cookies, and um, there you I, go. I, I, I was learning about. God, the Most High, you know, and, and, and how you talk about He's the Father of all fathers. Yes, sir. Either, and, and our ultimate spiritual father. So, so I, so I went to looking in deeper in, into that and, and, and got into the Holy Bible and start learning out the truth and the, and the past and the future and the stuff like that and try to figure out, you know, what I'm saying where's where's our place in the world and and, and he, he described it to us of who we are, you know, and um, um, it's it's so easy to be misled, misguided. Because that truth not being put out the way how it ought to, um, which is they call falsehood. Um, but but you know it's like we barely know so much of our history and our past, you know. But 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 really it's a we got a good history. We got a good past. And it's right there in the That's book. Real. It's right there in the book. It's right there in the Holy Bible. Going back all the way back from Abraham, and, and God uh, told him you know he was going to bless him with many nations as the stars in the sky and the sand by the sea. You know, and, and all of the nations in the world be blessed because of because of these people. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, yeah, amen. Yeah. So um. So so yeah, we got a mission. You know, when I, when I broke down the Bible and, and read it from that perspective, you know, trying to figure out who we are, we're like, okay, 
okay, we, we those same people who, who, who the pastors talk about in church, but they're not saying, hey, do y'all know that y'all actually related? Do, do, do y'all know that these are our ancestors? Mm -hmm. Same people who was in Africa and stuff like that. So we were more than just slaves. Yeah. Oh, oh. We were more than just despair. King David, yeah. King Solomon. Yeah, yeah absolutely, we got, man. We got a lot of people. Yes. Christ came from the tribe of Judah. You know, so so, and, and that's the best thing about looking back back on history is, is to see where we came from and to where we're going. The uh, the the prophecies of the of the future, like revelations and stuff like that, get even more better when it talks about the kingdom of God. And we're not just talking about the streets of gold. We're talking about you know those same Jews that that was inside of Moses' uh, breastplate. The, the same twelve stones that represent the twelve tribes of Israel. Uh, is uh, embedded inside of God's kingdom. That's that's the foundations. So who was and, the spark that got you to change like this, man? Because you talk passionate deep, about it. It's deep, it. right? No, man. It's who deep. who was that person that you deep. found that did that for you? It, it was it was the father. Okay. Because because I could have went many many different ways, but I listened to him. Gotcha. And, and asked him to show me what, what you want me to know. What, what what is it you want me to do as your servant here on earth? You know. And uh, and that's how I got inspired. And I went looking around and thinking, you know, is, is I'm tripping? Is, is anybody else talking like this? I'm feeling like this, you know. I really can't find nobody, but bro, I'm gonna one, tell you this: one, one person hopped out was Dr. King. Dr. King. Knowledge is infectious, bro. Yes, it is. And if you guys keep spreading the word of our history, where we're mm -hmm. trying to go and where we could be, people are gonna catch on. People are really gonna listen to this, and they're gonna be inspired by what you guys are doing. Like, what's the reception been like since you guys put out a song like this? Like, as you perform this, as you do it, people must. Oh, crazy, man. Yeah. Oh, man, crazy. It's been on so many radio stations. Yeah. So many. We yeah. getting ready to put together a tour. Because everybody, like, this song, like you said, it's, it's taking off like a wildfire. It's you a know? great song, but oh, a great thank message. Thank you. Great man. message, you know. Yeah. And I mean, I'm getting so many testimonies, too. People say to me, man, I was, I was thugging. I was on the verge of killing somebody. But when I heard that song, now I, I changed my life. And I'm hearing so many positive, like, testimonies. It's a shame, you know. Gotcha. So it's like, I thank God that you know He inspired us to, to you know make songs like this instead of making songs like I mean you know killing us. You can like do that, you, know? you can do this kind of music and still be successful. Still be successful. That's what I want people to see right and, now. And that's real. Like I said, BT. I think it was seventy five million households or something like that. You know, MTV asking for it. Like I said, we're getting ready to put a, a paid tour. You know, that's a blessing for y'all. No, you know man, that's I mean? a blessing for what so, you guys are doing. That's a testament, so, man. man, we out, we out here, you know, now we, grinding. Now, uh, we're we running out of time. I'm sorry, okay, no guys. Problem, no Next problem. time, don't talk so much. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really quick, I want you guys to give me your social media because I want everybody to follow you guys and support what you guys do. So when you guys do the tour, they're going to come see you. So okay. you can tell them. So mine is uh, Royal Tommy Spalding on uh, Instagram. Yeah. Make sure you also go and buy my book, I Saw Black Jesus, is on uh, Amazon. Mm -hmm. What's your social media? Oh, I'm, 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 I'm a, hold on, I was going to say, I'm a, I'm a fun to you. Cause well, okay, cool. <laughs> you find Tommy, you find him. Yeah, yeah, that's, this is my, yeah. this is my real brother, fine, so fine, you good. Bro, Royal Tommy's brother. What's yours? Oh, mine is Georgia Boy, of course. Georgia Boy. <laughs> Georgia Boy, <laughs> no, of course. Gotcha. Elite underscore P38. There you go. Y'all definitely go out and support these young men. They doing the right thing out here, and they making great music to boot. Thank y'all so much for being here with us today. Thank On behalf you. of myself, James John, a wonderful guest, Tommy Spaulding, and all his friends, and as always, Tight Mike Randall. We will see y'all tomorrow. Yeah. Stop, you did it. <laughs>